In this video, let's start creating a snake game in Xcode. Okay, Xcode. Install. Oh, I just upgraded the uh, Mac OS. So I think maybe Xcode was also upgraded every time. After we upgrade Xcode, uh, it needs to install some, I guess it's something component for the simulators also. But it's quick. Upgrading Xcode takes a long time. Maybe, yeah, hours it could be, or half an hour. But installing components normally takes just a few minutes or less than one minute so in the meanwhile let's show so today i just upgrade the mac os catalina from version 10.15.4 to this one the latest 10.15.5 let's um, check the version of Xcode uh, oh okay yeah it's up so the current one is version 11.5 okay create a new Xcode project Single view app, yes. Snake, the f famous snake game. Um, Swift storyboard. Okay, next. Let's assign, create. Select our favorite simulator, iPod 9.7. And here is our design designer area. So we also use the corresponding iPad 9.7 inch. Now, let's talk about the plan. So we'll create, first we'll create a grid here. Um, then we'll leave some area near the bottom to put some buttons. Uh, so in the first version of our snake game, we'll use arrow buttons, right, to move the snake. Okay, so let's get started and uh, create a new file for the view. Here, new file, Cocoa Touch. Yes, we need a, a subclass of UI view. Let's use board view. Because it looks like the uh, a game board or a chess board. Great. Don't need this. And we can remove that too. And here. Let's move up this one to under view controller. And main storyboard. Let's grab out a view for the board. UI view, this guy, drag and drop, put it here, and change, let's change its background color to light gray here, the second one. Yeah, so run it. 
uh, wait a minute. So this also set is class to our board view here. Yeah, give it a try, run it. Cool, it works. So now we can focus on our view. And let's hide this one and uh, the right panel so we can focus on our code here. Very good. So draw a board, a grid. Mm. Let's define the three constants to control the the size and the, the mm, and the location of the grid. So we can do that. Let uh, origin x cg float equals say we'll we'll put our grid the anchor point here somewhere here. So let's use. 50 and uh, 50 and 100 okay so 50 that origin y cg float one I I don't want to use this kind of no. I want to use weird number so 53 for example 70 71 okay so <clears throat> I want to make uh, like some tricky box uh, from the corresponding uh, like accidental um, problem. For example, this one is just a twice of that one. Uh, it might hide some some box. So and uh, let's define a cell side cell side lens so that's the the size the of the square cell square so let's use uh, like 23 okay we'll create a function to draw the grid so func draw grid okay And of course, we'll call it from the entry point to draw one. Draw grid, yeah. How do we draw grid? So we need a bunch of uh, horizontal line and the vertical lines. Yeah. So we also defined, yeah, this time. And the data types integer, right? Let rows columns int how many say we define maybe keep it small for now and uh, rows maybe seven okay so now we can draw <clears throat> we have seven rows of the the cells so we need eight right rows plus one eight lines to get that so let's draw that for loop i in i dot dot that oh no 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 sorry zero dot dot less than rows like that this means we have rows plus one rows of that lines so we can create our ui by zero so grid pass ui by zero pass 
right greatest move to point the first point of course origin x right and the origin y And the grid pass dot at line two points. So from here, the first line from here to here. So how many? Uh, what's the length of this one? Um, origin here. Origin x plus. How many cells? Cell side and um, row currents times cell side. Why? Same thing here. So yeah, because this the data type of that one is end so we need to convert it to cg float then we can call stroke to show it that run it okay so the um, let's draw seven uh, eight of them rows plus one so y will be each time will be cg float i times cell side and we'll do the same for this y okay run it cool uh let's use the less strong uh, color so ui color dot light we have light gray yeah light gray dot set stroke okay Hmm. It's okay. So now we need another for loop for vertical line, right? Another for loop for vertical line. So I in zero dot 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 columns. So let's draw, let's draw the first vertical line from here to here. So here is origin x, the coordinates of co origin, origin x, comma, origin y. So grid dot move enter x, origin x, origin y. At line two point okay um, so here is this guy is oh still origin X the Y will be origin Y plus right plus CG float how many rows that many cell side now Okay, let's run it. Make sure the first the vertical line works. Oh, perfect mid. It's a perfect fit. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Now, let's add the other vertical lines. Same idea, right? So you float I times cells side yeah we'll do the same in this one because they are in parallel
planet. Cool. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Exactly. So let's simply test it with the flexibility of our code. Okay. Change that column to 19 and the rows to 17. Run. Let's increase the size by, for example, by 5. Let's see what happened. Run it. Nice. And uh, can we move? Let's move this one to 0. Run it. So it will be... Yes, it works. What about, let's change this one to push down by 100. Okay. The whole grid. Yes, it works. Now let's put that back. And run it. That's good. So let's take a break.